Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to TPPI, or Test Pack Please Ignore. Alright, so in the last episode, uh, we went ahead and built a culinary generator and a pulverizer. And um, I went ahead and uh, went over to our other house and brought all of our crap over here, so now we have everything we need right here in this in this slightly bigger crap hole. Uh, so, alright, and good news, the pulverizer is full of energy. Uh, the culinary general or generator is actually uh, storing a little bit of energy, so that's cool. I didn't know it did that. Um, I guess now we can hold off on the uh, leadstone energy cell for quite a while. This holds 500,000 RFs, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I now um, I want to get a chest set up so we can start pulverizing some uh, some of our ores and you know get it into dust form. So let's go ahead and do that. You know what? We might actually want a hopper as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a chest and a hopper. Um, here's my crafting table. Um, oh wow, that's cool. Uh, just like in Blood and Bones. Uh, if you have a chest next to your crafting station, it uh, yeah it shows up. The inventory shows up. That's pretty that's pretty awesome actually. Okay, so here's our chest. Let's set the outputs correctly here. Let's go ahead and clear that. Uh, this will output everything and input from the top. So we'll put our ores in the top. Uh, the the dust will get sent into this chest here. Um, even the byproducts. So everything will be sent into there. But now we're going to need to make a hopper. Um, let's see if uh, the Greg Tech version is in this, or if it's the just the regular... Okay, so that's not bad. Just a regular vanilla version. Um, so let's grab some more wood. We're going to need another chest. Oh, we got wood on us. Okay, so now we're going to need some iron. Do we have any iron? We have one iron. Uh, let's go ahead and smelt up some more iron gravel here. Grab some coal. Alright, that ought to do it. <clears throat> so let's get this chest built. Just a basic setup here. We're going to have a chest up here, a hopper right here, so we can just toss all of our ores into this uh, chest. It'll go through the hopper, it'll automatically get pulverized and sent out here, so we don't have to sit here and keep uh, reloading it with ores and, and whatnot. But I am going to go ahead and grab a little bit more bread and pop that in there. Maybe we can fill this guy up. <clears throat> wow, that's that actually... Well, see, that's an RFs, and I think, uh, well, MJs and RFs are quite different. I think uh, <clears throat> 500,000 RFs is probably like, no, I'm just uh, guessing here, but it's probably half that much in uh, MJ. So, yeah, it looks like it's a lot of power, and, I mean, I guess it is. It's fine. I mean, it's <laughs> we're, we're getting power from bread, so we can't really complain, I guess. <laughs> so let's check on this. All right, so we got enough to make our hopper. So let's go ahead and put our chest there. Two, four, five. Iron hopper. All right, let's get this guy set up. Right there. And, oh yeah, we're going to need another chest. And we'll set this chest right up there. All right, so now uh, let's take some... Uh, I hope uh, this stuff can be pulverized. <laughs> I don't see why not. Let's go ahead and toss that in there. It should, yep, sucking it out into the hopper. Uh, taking it from the hopper into the pulverizer, and there we go. And hopefully we'll get some gold dust as a byproduct. That'd be neat. But I don't know. Tetrahedrite dust. Let's let's see what this smelts up into. I'm kind of curious. Is it just uh, copper? or I'm assuming it is, but uh, I don't know. I know if you pulverize uh, copper, you get a there's a chance that you'll get gold dust as a byproduct. I'm wondering if this stuff is the same. But I'm not quite sure. Let's also do the aluminum ore. I don't think we can pulverize osmium. Let's go ahead and just toss all this crap in here. And I don't know if we can pulverize gravel or not. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that, yeah, it just goes into copper. That's that's not bad. Uh, so far, no gold, but <clears throat> eh, whatever. Let's go ahead and throw some gravel in there, too, just to see what happens. And, of course, it's going to wait for... Let's go ahead and just kind of speed this process up a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> now, it's going to take a little bit to do all this, so I'm obviously I'm not going to just sit here and watch it. But uh, this should, like, you know, we should have plenty of dusts uh, here in the near, very near future. And then we can go ahead and convert that uh, into ingots, and then we will be set. So, in the meantime, I need lead. So, I'm going to let's craft up I don't want to use all my steel, so we'll go ahead and use three more of those. Actually, you know what? Let's make two more iron picks. 
because we're going to go on a little uh, mining expedition here. i got to find some lead. I'm not sure exactly what level lead spawns on in this. Um, I guess we could we could consult our book. I did leave the books over in the other house because I didn't think that I would need them. Uh, apparently I was wrong. So let's go ahead and check that book, see exactly where lead, what level uh, lead spawns on. And then um, we'll go on a little uh, little uh, mining trip, see if we can't find some lead. That way we can make some energy conduits and we can make uh, you know the energy cells and all that kind of good stuff. So ore generation guide. Okay, copper, aluminum, iron, tin, certus, lead. Uh, in the mid-upper 20s, or minus 6. Oh, clusters. Somewhat sparse clusters in the... Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Alright, let's put that book back. So in the 20s-ish areas. So, okay, let's actually... I think we're... We have... We don't have any torches. Let's go ahead and make some... Where did my torches go? I think I left them back at the house. That's fine. I'll just go ahead and make some more. There we go, we got some food, we got some torches, we have pickaxes and a shovel. Let's go to our little strip mine area that we have and uh, see if we can't come across some, uh, some, um, what's it called? Lead. <laughs> Alright, where is this thing at? What, I thought it was, here it is. Let's put a torch there just so we can remember exactly where it's at. Alright, so here we go. Let's head on down. I'll probably go ahead and skip through this, guys, so you don't have to see it. It's kind of a waste of time, but, uh, all right, I'll bring you guys back when I find some lid, if I find some lid. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, well, um, yeah, it didn't take very long. I found some lead. I, I also found some rubies. Uh, there was a ruby ore right there. So, all right, let's go ahead and grab this lead. Let's see how big these lead veins are. Hopefully, they're a pretty good size. Um, we shall see. But yeah, it didn't take, it really, honestly, I've, I've been down here for maybe a minute <laughs> and uh, already found some lead, so awesome. How much did we get? 12 lead, not bad. All right, I'm going to keep going because I want to find some more. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll find some other stuff, too. Some more rubies, perhaps. That'd be cool. So, all right. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think. Didn't take too long to find it the first time. All right. Keep on go. Oh, I think we found a little uh, cave system here. That's pretty cool. Let's actually go check this out, huh? Got some Ventium there. Is this a Miner's Delight? Got some more coal. It, I, it might actually be kind of wise to grab this coal. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that because, you know, we're going to need a bunch of it, especially when we're smelting up uh, all these dusts and whatnot. All right. Plenty of coal. There's actually some more. I'll go ahead and grab it all. There we go. Okay, cool. Got some coal. Um, I'm going to leave the Ventium here for right now. I don't really need it. Um, we could make some cool torches with it, though. Ooh, what do we got here? Tin. Yes, please. I will take the tin. It's quite a bit of it, too. Um, I just want to light this area up. There's some more lead. Good, 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 good. And what do we got? Some more tin. All right, this is cool. All right, and it ends there. So yeah, it's not bad. We found some tin. We found some iron or uh, some uh, lead, which is actually what we came down here for. So I am not complaining. Where'd that lead go? Here it is. Let's go ahead and grab it. And I believe there's some more tin up there too. Go ahead and grab it before we leave. All right, lots of lead. Good times. All right, where was that tin at? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and pillar up so we can reach it a little easier. We didn't even use our uh, iron picks. That's pretty sweet. And I think I see some force gems, some power ore, if you will. So we'll go ahead and grab that too. That's gonna come in handy. All right. All right, sweet. Not a bad little mining expedition. Uh, didn't take any time at all. All right, so yeah, I'm at, uh, what level am I? 25, I think. Yeah, I just stopped at level 25, and uh, yeah, found some lead. So if you guys are looking for lead in TPPI, uh, 25, level 25 works. So <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm going to head back to the house, and I will meet you guys there. Uh-oh. Got some zombie problems here back at, the, uh, back at the village. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. All right, we're going to need another sword here real soon. Uh, this stone sword just isn't cutting it. I mean, I guess it is, but, uh, yeah, I'd rather have an, uh, 
Like a brass or a bronze one or an iron one. To be honest. Come here. Get out of here. Alright. Nice. Took care of him. Um, yeah, we don't have a door on this place either. We need to... We should probably start working on that. Um, let's sleep the night away. Alright. And let's go ahead and put our oars that we... Oops. Let's put our oars that we found in this chest. Uh, where's our lead? Here it is. Lead. And yeah, we're still... Oh, we're out of power. Okay, okay. Should have thought about that. I wonder if rotten flesh works. Does that work? Yes, it does. It does not last very long, though, unfortunately. And it only gives us 40 MJ per tick. Okay, that's not uh, horrible. I guess. It's zombie flesh, so I mean... I wasn't really planning on eating it anyway. <laughs> so, let's see what do we got. We got a ton of copper so far. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and let that smelt up. Let it do its thing. And go ahead and put some of this stuff back. Found a ruby. That's really cool. Uh, and some force gems. I uh, got some more coal. That's cool. All right. I know I'm just going to go ahead and keep an eye on this, you guys. Uh, and make sure we're maintaining power. And let's see. Um, I'm going to actually go uh, harvest some more food. Uh, just so we can get this power situation under control. This, uh, this uses quite a bit of food, too, so it's not the most efficient uh, type of power, I would imagine. But, uh, you know, whatever, it's, it's free, pretty much, since, uh, since we found a village, and they had uh, crops planted already, so I'm not really complaining. Um, eventually, we'll upgrade, too. I mean, you know, you got to start somewhere. So let's go ahead and plant this stuff back. There we go. Ow. Stupid water. All right. Um, let's see what other kind of crops do we have. Do we have any like uh, any other? I know there's a bunch of. Here we go. I knew there was some more fields around here. There's quite a few fields. That's pretty cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab all this stuff. And I know I said I'd do this stuff off camera, but uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> it shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, there we go. I can figure this out. Alright, let's grab these carrots. Grab some more wheat. Somebody trampled our crops over here. Alright. And I There's more down there. Okay. Um, yeah, we might as well go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I will save that one for off-camera, because I want to go back and make sure this thing is still getting power and, and all that good stuff so let's check on it here it is uh, I need to work on a door there's a bunch of stuff I need to do okay so that is completely out let's go ahead and toss some carrots in there what do they do okay so they last a while and they create uh, 40 uh, RF per tick so that's cool that's not too bad at all um, let's go ahead and make some more bread Twenty-three bread, not too shabby. Plus five in there. Okay, cool. Um, and the carrots seem to do a pretty good job, so that's nice. And we have a we have a bunch of carrots, so it's not not bad at all. And it looks like we're about done with our tetrahedrite dust, so that's cool. What's next? Um, we should probably well, I'll just I was gonna say we should probably do lead next, but uh, and it doesn't really matter. I want to get all this stuff smelted up anyway, so. Oh, and there's the lead right there. All right, so I guess the lead probably will be next after this. So sweet. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it there for this episode, but thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. All right, guys, talk to you later.